Thursday night football, man. What are you most excited about? Like it's a it's a new world in in terms of the streaming. It's a new world for you too, joining like the dark side here. What what are you thinking most of uh, when you get started here? Well, I enjoy talking about the game and criticizing players and 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 doing all this with no consequence. You know, I can be right, wrong, or indifferent, and I'm still right at the end of the day. It feels it feels really good. I can say, hey, man, these guys ran this play and they should have ran that play. It's like, oh, no matter what I say, I get to be correct, and I'm I'm enjoying it though, man. It's it's gonna be fun just being in the atmosphere and 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 connecting with the players and trying to trying to educate people on the nuances of the game that people may not you know be as in depth um, about. I think I heard those comments once or twice in a press conference of yours uh, way back in the in the day. <laughs> uh, tell us about how you're preparing for this. I mean, is it is it like uh, is it like being a player are you doing homework are you like i mean what, what what's it what's it like for you to prepare for a, a game every week um yeah i mean you watch the tape you got to watch the tape of the team teams you're watching um you got to figure out the concepts they're running the scheme they're running um the strengths and weaknesses of their players uh and so yeah you're kind of watching like a player um you're you're calling around trying to get a little bit of background on certain situations because it's not always obvious on tape um, but it's fun, man. It's fun. It's it's watching tape without having to have to deal with the players you're watching. You know, <laughs> usually you're watching tape trying to figure out, hey, man, I'm going to stop this guy or I'm going to get to this football or how I'm going to get him to throw it to me. And now I just got to get to watch it and explain why they're doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And in terms of working with the team you're working with, can you talk a little bit about those guys and, like, how you're meshing with them? I'm, I, I'm, I imagine you're practicing or maybe you will at some point. Uh, and then you fly in for the game, and it's it, it is kind of a team concept. You're just on a different team now. No, no question, no question. This is a great team, man. Um, I, I mean, um, from the producers to to everybody editing the videos and and creating the graphics, um, to to Carissa and Tony and Ryan and and Wit and Taylor and everybody on the on the desk with us. Um, it's 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 fun, man. It's a really fun team. We're having a good time. We're 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 enjoying one another. Kaylee's great um we're enjoying the journey um obviously michael smith is is you know the correspondent and it's just fun you know it's just a, a, another team you get to be on another team you get to to learn from and grow with and try to make it the best possible production you can excellent um hey i think i i was reading an article earlier this week uh and kj wright had a quote where he said you know some people don't like honesty it stings and he was referring to you because somebody asked him, you know, um, why you, your personality might be so polarizing or why you were so popular here. Uh, either way, I, I think it's a good quote because I think you just mentioned it. You'll bring that honesty to this broadcast. I think that sometimes is sorely missing in in uh, TV these days and in football these days, but you'll bring it. I, I know you will. Yeah, positive or negative. I mean, you know, I think that's the best way to be. I can only be transparent and speak the, the truth that I believe. Um, and I think that's what comes out most most authentically uh, from from my voice is I, I call it like I see it. And if I if I have to call it a different way or if I have to sugarcoat it or I have to dance around the issue, no reason to have me on, you know, because that's not that's not really what I'm about. Um, and and I think that's you know in Seattle sometimes they get a little upset because hey you know I'm I'm calling it like I see it you know it it sometimes I see it like you see it and sometimes I don't and just because I don't see it like you see it doesn't make it any less true. Yeah, no, absolutely. So let's get to tonight's game. How do you see tonight's game? I mean, not a lot of people are giving the Seahawks a chance this year. Uh, they, the Seahawks don't want to call it a rebuild. It looks like a rebuild. Um, how bad will it be tonight? Are we uh, are we expecting a bad one tonight? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm not expecting a bad one. I think it should be competitive. Um, it just depends. You know, it's so many unknowns. That's the that's the hard part. This isn't deep enough in the season where it, it's two super unknown teams. You don't know how Russ is going to mess with the Denver Broncos. They were fourth in the, the division last year. So, you know, they, they weren't a great team last year. How much different is he going to make them? I don't know. Um, their offensive line isn't great. Um, you know, it, you, you don't know certain things about how – how Nathaniel Hackett is going to be with with this offense. Like, how is he going to – what product he's going to put out there? What scheme is he going to run defensively without Vic Fangio? What scheme? Are they going to stay with the same scheme? Um, in Seattle, they're changing things up defensively. Um, Clint Hurt, new defense coordinator. 
Uh, Shane Waldron's still here, but you got Geno Smith at under center. You got two rookie tackles. You got a rookie corner starting. It's so many unknowns that it's hard to to call it. But um, I think it'll be a lot more competitive than people think. Uh, and I think if if the plan that Seattle has for Russell works like like it should, then they'll have a shot at the end of the game to to, to pull it out. And that's that's all you can hope for in this situation. You know, I don't think they'll be as bad as people think. You know, people think calling two three wins. Um, I think they'll be competitive in just about every ball game and and find a way to pull out um, uh, uh, at least half of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good progress report. I mean, and I guess you really won't know until week five, six, seven, eight, what you really got. Um, you have defended Russell Wilson for a long time in practice. I mean, you know, those battles from what we all saw were legendary um, back and forth, back and forth. How do you defend Russell Wilson? We've seen him struggle with pressure. We know that he doesn't like getting hit. So maybe that's part of it. But in the back end, especially, how do you defend Russ? Uh, you keep a you keep an umbrella over the defense. You know you don't let you don't let bombs happen. You keep you keep things in front of you. You make him walk the ball down the field, um, and that's what they're going to have to do tonight. They're going to have to make him walk the ball down the field. They're going to have to. He's going to have to take five yard passes, eight yard passes, dink and dunk. You can't let him have explosive pass. You can't let him throw big posts and big go routes, um, play in and play out. You got to make him have 10, 12 play drives consistently because he won't. He won't. He'll turn the ball over. He'll take sacks. Um, he'll hold the ball too long looking for a big plays, and you can you can beat him that way. Um, if you allow him to take the top off the defense, then you don't have a chance. You know, this game will get out of hand quick. Um, and I think that that coaching him for as long as they did and seeing him for as long and knowing him as well as they do, I think they understand that. Yeah, and we saw a lot of that last year getting frustrated and even the years uh, before that. Uh, two more questions for you, Richard. Um, I want to talk about the fact that you've been around the facility a lot lately. And I know to a man, they say, it's so great to see you there. Um, that's a new phase for you as well, though you taught a lot of players when you were there playing. Um, uh, you know, you've you mentored a lot of players. Um, is that just the next step in the evolution of, of what you want to become later in your career, maybe? Well, I'm not coaching. I'm, I'm consulting. You know, that's what I tell people. I, I don't have the I don't have the I don't have the patience and the time to sit there and go through the meetings. The meetings are the worst part. Like I can I can own the field. It would be great. It's just the meetings, the meetings, the meetings, the meetings. Um, so I'm just trying to help. You know, I, I see a tremendous talent, but you know, Deshaun Shed and uh, is doing a great job. Um, Carl is doing it. Carl Scott's doing a great job. Um, Nico Thorpe is there helping out now. He's doing a great job. So um, I, I just see something in, in those guys. I see something in Tariq and, and Kobe that I think I could I could um, add something to. You know, I think I can make the game simpler and make it make them help them play faster and help their growth um, happen a little quicker than than what is happening. And so that's all I'm trying to do. You know, I'm coming in and, and just giving my two cents and trying to stay out the way. You know, obviously they have coaches that are doing a great job and have been working with them since they got there. Um, so yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's great to to be back around and and to, to help out when you can. Well, I tell you, they they <clears throat> to a man are appreciative of what you're doing. Um, one more question because this is going to run. Uh, some of this is going to run on Wednesday night, the night before the Thursday night game. Um, your first game. Uh, what a matchup that is. I mean, I I, I don't think I saw two quarterbacks play better uh, than uh, the Chargers and and the, and the Chiefs. I mean. Those guys lit it up on Sunday, and and now a quick week to turn around. I feel like big numbers are coming as well. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think this is the future of the league, and and I think the NFL would say the same thing. You know, I mean, you 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 still got the legends playing right now. You still got Tom. You still got Aaron. Um, still lighting it up. Still doing their thing. Um, but I think Herbert, uh, Mahomes, Burrow, um, you know, Lamar Jackson, still freaking what is he? 24, 25 years old. Yeah. Um, they, those guys are all the future of the league, and and I think that going forward, the league is 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 in great hands. And I can't wait to see this matchup. They're freaking so talented. They they they're accurate. They're big. They're not scared to to take to take shots down the field. Um, it's going to be a cool chess match um, between Brandon Staley and uh, and Andy Reid and Eric Bieniemy. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm interested to see that too. It's going to be. Really interesting to see how the Chiefs defense does, um, you know, with the new pieces. Obviously, they they handled Arizona pretty easily. This isn't Arizona. You know, this is this is Chargers offense is, is a lot more talented and a lot more, you know, better quarterback play than what Arizona had. Um, and so 
I expect there to be a great challenge. Obviously, Keenan Allen had a hamstring, and he's out. Mm -hmm. But the, that Chargers defense with Khalil Mack, three sacks last week, I mean, that's a problem. That's going to mm -hmm. be a problem. Him and Bosa are living up to the hype. Awesome, man. Uh, hey, what's your what's your role going to be on Thursday? Pre-game, pre, pre -game, post game? Are you doing sidelines? That's how it's going to go for you Thursday? going to kind of move you around a little bit? Yeah, pre-game, post-game, halftime. I'm sure they'll make me do a few pre-game interviews and things like that. But, you know, I'm getting in where I fit in. You yeah, know, it may it may evolve throughout the season. Did you did you get did you catch your boy Mike Bennett on some of the pregame? He's doing some interviews and stuff. Yes, <laughs> and I loved it. <laughs> yes, he was. Mike great. B yeah. was awesome. Yeah, it was. it was, and and Mike Rob as well. It was it was it's great stuff, man. Well, you're following you're following right along with him, man. We we are so excited to see you on Thursday night, man. Uh, uh, happy for you in this new gig, uh, and and I guess we'll see you in December because uh, that you'll be here for the Seahawks Niners at, uh, December fifteenth. So looking forward to that, yep, Richard. We man. got Thank Seahawks Niners. Time. No problem. See you then.